Assalamu alaikum. Dear all student, hope you all are well in this COVID-19 situation by the grace of Almighty Allah. Everyone should follow the health rule given by government. Please always be sincere about your health and your study. Now I would like to introduce myself. I am Kaji Fatima Jahan, lecturer. Department of Biology, Milestone College, Uttara, Dhaka. You all are welcome to today's class. Today, we will discuss about Chapter 9. The name of this chapter is Firmness and Locomotion. This is the part 1 of this chapter. Our today's topics are Skeletal System, Parts of Skeleton, Role of Skeleton, Bone, Cartilage, Bone Joint or Articulation, synovial joint, ball and socket joint, and hinge joint. Learning Objectives After completing today's class, you all will be able to describe the human skeleton, explain the role of skeleton, explain the function of bone and bone joints, explain the difference between bone and cartilage, and describe synovial bone joint. In adverse situation, man moves from one place to another in search of food, protection and breeding etc. The process by which animal moves from one place to another by their own effort is called locomotion. Skeletal system The system which gives the structure definite shape and protection different organs from injury and helps in locomotion is called skeletal system. Here you can see a label diagram of human skeleton. Introduction of human skeleton Skeleton is the framework of our body. The human skeleton is composed of in combination of long, small, flat, unequal 206 bones. It gives the definite shape to the body and protects the internal organs such as heart, lungs, stomach, intestine, brain, etc. Without strong bone structure, a fixed shape is not possible. Bone joints are connected together with the various parts of skeleton and assist in movement. Bones are remaining attached with the voluntary muscles that helps movement of different organs. The skeletal system is composed of bones, cartilages, ligaments, tendons, bone joints and muscles. Parts of Skeleton Human skeleton is divided into parts as exoskeleton and endoskeleton. Exoskeleton. The parts of the skeleton exist outside the body. It includes nail, hair, etc. Endoskeleton. The part of skeleton which cannot be seen from outside. The endoskeleton mainly composed of cartilages and bones. Role of skeleton in firmness and locomotion. The skeleton does the following functions such as structure and firmness of the body, protection, movement and locomotion, production of red blood cells, storage of mineral salts. Now we learn in details. Structure and firmness of the body. The skeleton forms the hard structure of the body and gives a definite shape to that body. It joins lower organs with the upper organs. Protection. Skull protects brain, spinal cord within the vertebral column or backbone, lungs and heart within the thorax. Muscles remain attached with the skeleton and skeletal muscles involved in carrying the weight of the body. Movement and locomotion. Hands, legs, shoulders or pectoral girdle and pelvic or hip girdle help in movement. Muscular system has an important role in this act. Due to the attachment of muscles with the bones, we can move the bones and we can move. Production of red blood cells. Bone marrow produces the red blood cells. Storage of mineral salts. Bones store mineral salts. That's why the bones remain hard and strong. Bone. Bone is the modified form of connective tissue. It is the hardest tissue of the body which is composed of organic substances. The matrix of the bone is hard and brittle. The bone cells remain scattered within the matrix. Bone cells are called osteopath. These cells are branched and look like a spider. 
Bone is mainly composed of phosphorus, potassium and calcium different compounds. Besides it contains approximately 40 to 50 percent parts of water. Living bone cells contain about 40 percent organic and 60 percent inorganic substances. Sufficient vitamin D and calcium enriched foods are necessary. Due to the deficiency of these substances, the normal growth of bones is resisted. Cartilage Cartilage is not hard just like bone. These are relatively soft and elastic or flexible. It is the different form of connective tissue. These cells are found solitary or pairs and densely scattered out within the matrix. From the cartilaginous tissue, a kind of hard, semi-transparent organic substances are secreted. Matrix is composed of chondrin. It is mild blue or bluish in color. In living cartilaginous cell, the protoplasm is very transparent with round nucleus and cavity is noticed within the chondrin. These are called capsule or lacuni. Chondrocytes and chondrobloods remains within it. All cartilages are enclosed by a layer of fibrous connective tissue that is called perichondrium. This layer is glazing white in color. So, cartilage looks white, bluish and glazy shining. There are various types of cartilage within our body. Cartilages are found in different joints or articulating surface of some bones, such as the cartilage in pina. Bone joint or articulation. The joints in between two or more bones are called bone joints. In every joint, bones are joined firmly together by flexible elastic tissues called ligaments. So, the bones cannot be dislocated easily. The joint helps in the movement of limbs. All the joints of our body are not of same type. Some of it is fixed, such as intervertebral joint. Again, some of it is freely movable, such as joints of hands and legs. You can see the diagram of both fixed and freely movable bone joint. Synovial joint. When two ends of two bones touch, it makes a joint to form a synovial bone joint. When more than two bones make a joint, it is called complex synovial joint. A joint which is composed of a capsule, synovial membrane, a synovial cavity with a kind of lubrication fluid or synovial fluid is called synovial joint. The parts of the joint are the articulating surface of bone, covered with smooth cartilage, synovial fluid and synovial membrane. Synovial joint have ligaments for holding the bones together collectively to form a strong fibrous capsule. The synovial fluid and the cartilage of the joint reduce friction and less energy is used for the movement of the joint. Example of bone joints. Bone joints are of different types. Fixed joint. The bones are joined firmly, so it is immovable. Example, joint of cranium. Slightly movable joint. These joints are joined with one another, still it has a small sliding surface. So, we can bend the body. Example, joint of backbone. Freely movable joint. These joints can be moved easily. Example, wrist joint, ball and socket joint ball and socket joint joints where the round one head of the bone fits into a cup shaped socket or cavity of another bone in such a way that allows the bones movement in all plans example shoulder joint ball and socket joint of high bone hinge joint the elbows knees joint of the finger are the example of hinge joint it moves like a hinge of a door it can be moved in one plane only. They both are types of synovial bone joint. Now, as we are going to finish our today's lecture, there are two homework for you. Write down the difference between bone and cartilage and write about synovial joint with level diagram. Please complete this homework and submit to your subject teacher. That's all about our today's lecture. Thanks to all.